This is Michael Slackman with the New York Times in Gaza. Lots of people like to go to the beach in summer, but here in Gaza, going to the beach is far more than a luxury. It's an escape from the day-to-day -day stresses of life under siege. For the past three years, an Israeli blockade has made a difficult existence in the Strip even more stressful and more challenging. There are few jobs, the electricity is sporadic, and there's very little to do for fun. But what the people do have here is this beach. It, it provides an extraordinary opportunity for them to unwind, have fun, forget about the pressures of the day. We met a group of men here that call themselves Gaza Surf Relief. They created the organization a few years ago when they started gathering planks of wood to body surf in the Mediterranean. Over time, they managed to get their hands on a few surfboards when they were donated from abroad. They developed a kind of surf community here. Unfortunately, they don't have many supplies since the blockade has made it difficult to bring in new surfboards. But that hasn't stopped them from teaching the pleasures of surfing to their friends, to the community, and to the next generation. I am Shiro Abu Ghanim. I'm 13 years old. And I love to do it so that my body is healthy in everything. I feel like it's beautiful. Two days a week, early in the morning, a group of young girls get lessons from Hindi Ashur, the leader and founder of the Gods of Surf Club. He also happens to be a lifeguard on the beach here. Hindi himself is a former national swim champion who in his heyday was able to compete in Jordan and France. But because of politics, those opportunities were closed to him, which is one of the reasons he said he loved surfing. Because this is a very difficult thing, and then the one feels 